How's it going, family? Catching Key here. I was in the process of uh, deleting some old files off my hard drive, getting ready for the new year when I came across this video. Um, I actually recorded this video back in the summer um, when the fish was on fire, and I never published it. So it's just a it's just a video showing a little pitching stick. It's a three foot pole, very versatile rod, very versatile rod. And what I use it for is when you right up on the brush pile and the fish are right up on your boat and I don't like standing up and holding my pole, you know, vertically and jigging like that. This this application right here, it, it fits it fits that, that scenario. I can sit in my seat, fish right down beside my boat and catch them slabs, them bondos. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this video out. I was gonna delete it, but I'm not gonna delete it. I think it, I think it's worth putting out. So I hope y'all enjoy it, and I hope everybody have a blessed new year, and everybody be safe. Hey, what y'all got going on? Hey, this key. Let me show y'all a new uh, fishing rod I've been fishing with. And I know you're going to laugh, but why y'all laughing? I'm catching. So, uh, without any further ado, let me let me introduce y'all to, and I'm, first of all, let me say I'm not sponsored by anybody. Uh, this uh, Shakespeare does not sponsor me. This is something that I've been walking past the aisle in one of those big box stores. I've been walking past this thing for almost a year and a half just looking at it you know and I finally picked it up and it is the pitching stick yeah that's right go ahead and laugh what is he doing fishing with that little baby pole that's a little three foot pole and it has backbone for days let me tell you this thing here y'all I crappie fish, and you can use it for anything, but I fish for bondos, you know, and sockelay. I fish for them donkeys, and let me tell you, this past weekend, I was out at my lake, and I use live scope, and I fish over brush piles, suspended, and when I tell you the first fish I caught, I thought it was a baby. That's how strong this backbone is on this little pole, y'all. I thought this, it was a baby. And I thought I was filming, but I, I, I was not. I, I forgot to push record. Uh, I'm new to this filming thing, so, you know, forgive me. I'll get better. And I'm sitting there, I mean, having the best time I ever had fishing, y'all. And none of it was captured on film. So... I'm going out this coming up weekend if you know if it don't if it don't rain and I'm gonna show y'all what this pitching stick could do. I'm gonna show you. And sometimes I mean most times than not I don't like fishing right up on a brush pile. But this brush pile was so big, I mean I'm right over this brush pile and I'm maybe in 20 2021 20, feet of water and I have my front of my boat just right over this brush pile and I'm fishing just straight down and for the, for you guys who you know fish on a boat you know when you get over that brush pile and the fish are right up under the boat you got to stand up or try to hold your you try, you're gonna try to hold your fishing pole you know like a spear straight up and down like this here and you got your you got your tackle, you know, going straight down. You holding it like a spear. You ain't got to do all that. You ain't got to do all that no more. Get you one of these pitching sticks, and you can thank me later. And like I say, I'm not sponsored by anybody, so I'm not making any anything off of this. I wish I was, but I'm not. This little thing, I mean, you drop it right down beside where you're sitting on your boat. No more getting up and sliding halfway in the middle part of your boat because you fixing you fishing with a a 10 foot rod or a 15 foot rod or whatever even a seven footer get you one of these pitching sticks and what i use what i use this is how i tie my line 
because I like I like fishing quick. I'm, I'm a fast fisher. I don't, I, I don't like sitting there at the night bite, biting. I, I like sticking and moving, you know. So what I use is an improved clinch knot. And I have a barrel swivel, a snap swivel. And that snap swivel is going to come into play here in a little bit. So I do that improved clinch knot. I go around. I like 10 times. My little fairy son over there, Apollo, going crazy. Excuse the background noise, y'all. He's going crazy over there. These dogs like talking to each other. Apollo, chill out, man. Chill out. So then I'll take that and I'll run it. Well, if I put it back where y'all can see. I run that back through. The loop that I created. And I know, forgive me y'all, I know y'all can't see this. This is six pound test. Oh, and I forgot to mention y'all, forgot to mention. It comes spooled with six. Good. That didn't work that good, so let's, let's do it over. I'm not going to cut that out. Y'all going to see that. I'm going to leave all that in there. We're not perfect. So start over. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's ten times I went around. And I'm going to stick that tag in back to the first loop that I created. My wife told me I need glasses. I'm, I've been fighting it for years. I ain't getting no glasses. <laughs> this is my new best friend. Let me let me show you to my new best friend. My best friend name is Pitch and Stick. And let me tell you, y'all, you got to get you one of these. You got to get you one of these. I'm telling you. You a crappie fisherman? Get you one of these on your boat. You can thank me later. For those little close up, you know, close up encounters. Yeah, this is what you need. The three foot, look at that. The three foot fishing pole. Little shorty. Little shorty. And it gets the job done. All right. Talk to y'all later.